On this Dram Savaika, we're taking a look at the 2021 Giant Rome 4. This is a dual sport style hybrid from Giant, and it's the beginning version in their lineup. So we're gonna go into some features and designs of this bike, talk about what it's good for, and then finally we'll find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, stick with me and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this in the future. The Giant Rome is inside the hybrid category, but more specifically, the dual sport style hybrid. And what dual sport style hybriding is, is basically a hybrid that's going to be able to do about maybe 70% of what an entry level mountain bike could do off road. So we're talking gravel paths, fire roads, light hiking trails. But then it's also got the capability of being a good fitness bike to go out, get a workout on it, enjoy it on the road as well as have the capability of being utilitarian for commuting or comfortable for riding with your kids. So think of a dual sport style hybrid like this, much like a SUV. So if this bike were say, I don't know, a Honda CRV or a Toyota RAV4, it's gonna have the looks of being able to do some off-road. And in fact, you could take it out to the campsite when you wanted to, or go down that unimproved fire road but really it's designed for a lot of usage, going out, being a great vehicle to get around, take care of your kids and do all those sorts of things. Now the frame and fork is really what allows this giant to be as versatile as we were just talking about. So essentially, as we talk about this bike, you're gonna see it's got an aluminum frame and then up front, it's gonna have a suspension fork. And what that means is this silver part is gonna be able to compress, allowing for the front end to move independently of the frame, keeping it more comfortable on rough roads, but also allowing it to maintain traction on the front end when you're going down a gravel road or say, get pushed off kilter by hitting a really big pothole. Now the suspension on the front end of the bike is operated using this SR Suntour NEX fork. It's a fairly basic fork, but this is the entry level version of the Giant Rome series, and it's gonna offer 63 millimeters of travel. So that means the compression length here is 63 millimeters, which should help smooth out some of those bumps. And then the aluminum frame that Giant uses has their ALU XX aluminum. So that means these are shaped tubes, which allows Giant to manipulate how the frame's gonna feel. It's gonna be all internal cable routing, which is how this bike is just so clean and gorgeous looking on the outside. And then going to the back, it'll have some real neat features. So you've got rack and fender mounts here. You've got places to mount those. On the other side, we have a direct mount kickstand mount, which I love to see because that's a much better way to attach a kickstand to the bike. You also have dual water bottle cage mounts. So one on the down tube of the bike, as well as the seat tube. So you can carry two with you when you're out riding. And then they do a feature, which is pretty interesting called their defuse seat post. So this seat post goes into the frame and you can see it's not quite round. And they're doing that because using a D shaped seat tube, and then of course the seat post to go into it, it's gonna allow a little more flex going backwards to add some comfort. Only downside really that you use a proprietary seat post, so you'd have to go through Giant to replace that if you had to. But overall, the geometry of this bike is pretty relaxed and you can see that because the handlebars are fairly upright. The reach of the bike, the link to, uh, to the handlebar is in that more conservative range, which should make it a real comfortable bike for all sorts of riding. For the controls and cockpits, we've got some more aluminum setup. So this is a Giant Sport XC handlebar. So the handlebar itself has a little bit of a rise to it, as you can see there. The bar clamp is 25.4, and then it goes to this alloy stem, which is gonna use four millimeter mounting hardware and has a bit of a rise to it as well. So that should help with the cockpit being a little more upright. And then you've got these giant waffle style grips. Pretty comfortable, feels all right in the hand, nothing too much to talk about there. Going to the back, the saddle on the bike is gonna be the giant sport comfort saddle. This is sort of a medium width saddle, perfect for a fitness or dual sport bike like this. And then the seat post is gonna be an alloy giant defuse seat post. 
So here you've got an adjustment with just a single bolt to be able to adjust the angle of the saddle so you can get it nice and comfortable to you. And of course it's running that D shape on this D fuse seat post. The drivetrain of this bike is a place that I feel like Giant's doing really well on this entry level hybrid. And the reason for that is most entry level hybrids are going to be a seven speed, typically a freewheel out back, and then up front it would be three speeds. And generally that means you have to do a lot of shifting and it's a little more complicated. But here, this is going to be two speeds up front, so it would be what's considered a two by, and then seven out back. And without getting too geeky into it, I really love the fact that this is running a cassette. And basically why we care about that is it means it makes for a stronger design on the hub, much more durable setup of a way to attach the gears. A free wheel threads on, this actually slides on and then locks into place, so it's nice to see. But the rear gears are seven speeds being operated through this Shimano Altus rear derailleur. The cassette itself is an HG 200 cassette which runs a 12 to 32 tooth gear range. And then going up front, you have a Tourney two by style front derailleur operating two chain rings on this alloy crank set. So the chain rings here are a 30, 46. And what that's meaning for us is in geekery here, you've got a 32 tooth out back as your easiest gear. And then in front, you've got a 30 tooth as your easiest gear, which allows this bike to have less than a one-to-one -one gear ratio. Basically a one-to-one -one gear ratio is the gold standard for something that's gonna be geared in a way that's gonna be easy to climb and get up just about everything. And it's awesome to see that is the case. On the flip side, you've got a 1246, which means there's gonna be enough gearing that if you wanted to get a real good fitness ride and leave it in a heavy gear, you'd have no problem doing so. The bike's then going to roll on some giant GX03 wheels. This is an aluminum rimmed wheel set. It's got quick release front and rear hubs making it easy to take the wheels on and off. They are double wall with brass nipples which should keep them nice and strong. And then you'll see the giant cross cut tires. This is a pretty sweet tread pattern to this tire. Should make for a good option where it's prioritizing fast rolling, but you've got enough knobs on this cross cut tire to be able to keep some traction even on some medium firm surfaces. And then attaching to those six bolt disc hubs, you've got some Tektro mechanical disc brakes. These Tektro mechanical disc brakes are a single pull mechanical disc using a traditional cable to be able to operate these levers and they're gonna do a decent job of slowing you down, but this might be a place that in time you'd wanna upgrade from the bike. The actual weight of the Giant Rome 4 in a size large is gonna come in and weigh. Twenty-eight point six six pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the 2021 Giant Rome 4. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to browse the channel and check out all the other videos to see.